Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to just talk about Blade Show 2022. So, um, I'm going to be there. Obviously, I'm going to be there with Devo Knives, so I hope that you come visit us. Um, Colin and I have a table. We'll be at 18W. That's 18W. We'll be right next to the homie Jake and Ryan with Luft Concepts. They're over at 18Y, I think, so come check the group out. Say what up. I'm gonna have a couple of my local buddies as uh, exhibitor help with us. So uh, Colin or I might wanna go wander around and buy some shit, look around, meet and greet kind of stuff. And um, that way we have help, we can all kind of figure it out. So if you don't see me there, just have one of them give me a call or uh, just come back. I will be at that table probably the majority of the time. Um, so in terms of blade show i went last year it was an absolute blast i went with my brother kyle dtom knives and gear who is not coming this year um i miss him um i wish him the best we still talk and everything he's just busy with life and um he can't make it so um i love you brother if you see this and um yeah so it was a blast last year and it was like dead i mean compared to what i've understood at other shows uh, it was the first show back from COVID, right? So all of 2020 was like shut down. I think ICE in Texas had just happened, which is now Blade Show Texas, had just happened. And then they shut down for COVID. And they didn't do any shows in 2020 that I that I know of. They might have done like CCKS or something at the end of the year, but no big shows. So then Blade Show Atlanta last year was the first one back. And it seemed like nobody really went like it was pretty dead and we had a blast i mean it was filled lots of people but like as i understand it it's going to be like three times as big this year which is insane so i cannot wait for that um we went and we stayed at a hotel nearby and we walked over and then we hit the convention we, we didn't like try to get in early bird or anything we were just there mostly to talk to people uh walk around we had some shit we wanted to buy but None of it was like, get in line at 2 a.m. kind of shit. Um, so, again, this year I'm not really looking at a hit list of any sort. I know a lot of you guys are going because you have something you really want to get. And, you're, you know, you got early bird tickets and you're going to wait in late. You're going to get there at 5 a.m., whatever. God bless you. I, I hope you get everything you want, um, you know. And, uh, yeah, do you, right? Me, personally, I just want to meet people, have fun, and if I see some shit I want to buy, I'll buy it, you know? Um, but we all do things for our own reasons, and uh, I wish you guys the best. I hope you, you get all the knives that you want. Um, in terms of, like, advice, I don't, you know, I've been there one time, so I'm not, like, the guy to give you advice on it, but if you haven't been, it's your first year, and you want some tips or something... I would just say uh, wear sneakers, you know, like something that's comfortable. You want to be able to walk around all day and not get killed, right? Like, I think I wore sandals one day, and my fucking hip was, like, broken <laughs> by halfway through. And I think I walked back to the hotel to get sneakers or something. Like, just wear sneakers, comfortable shit. Um, you know, I brought a backpack, but it was, like, a pretty streamlined, like, little sling bag backpack so I could throw some uh, knives in and shit that I bought. Uh, I wouldn't recommend like a huge bag of any kind just because you're probably going to just have it get in your way, right? You might get in other people's way, but more importantly, you don't want to weigh yourself down, you know what I mean? You're not there to buy every knife in the room. I mean, maybe you are. Then bring that, you know what I mean? Whatever you need to do. But um, they had food. They had Chick-fil-A. That's what we ate. Chick-fil-A and Domino's, I think, were out in the hallway. So you can grab a sandwich. They're not going to have like a menu, right? They're going to have like two things that you can pick. Uh, between so we had like pepperoni pizza and then we had like a chick-fil-a sandwich and that was great but you could always bring food i think if you wanted to um and that's really it i mean uh i didn't bring cash uh, i didn't have cash and i was able to pick up i think everything i wanted without cash i, I just paid paypal for some things a lot of people took credit cards it's 2022 guys you should be taking a credit card <laughs> like just have a little scanner thing you can get from anywhere and you fucking take credit cards. Like, stop making people bring cash. I get it. You don't get taxed. But again, come on. Just charge me more. I'll pay the, I'll pay the taxes. Um, so I don't... That whole thing, I don't know. I don't... I, I didn't bring cash. And I don't plan on doing it this year because 
it's a pain in the ass to take cash out, pocket it, and then you don't use it. And then, like, I have a bank where I can't just deposit cash in. Like, it's all online, you know? Um, last year, I had some beers. During the show, they had, like, Stella and stuff. They had little stands. They were fucking expensive. It was, like, eight bucks or something. Maybe ten bucks for a beer. Um... And it was just like a 12-ounce Stella. Now, obviously, I don't drink anymore, so it doesn't matter. I might grab a water bottle. I'll probably bring some seltzers in a bag or something. Um, but I would recommend having something to drink because you're going to be doing a lot of walking. It's basically like a marathon of walking. Um, you know, you stop at tables and talk and shit. And, and that would be my biggest thing, guys, is just talk to people. Get to know, there's so many people I met last year that I, I, I didn't know before or that I still know now that if I hadn't have just talked to people, you know, don't be shy. Like, if you see me or you see, you know, um, I, I, there's a ton of people going. If you see people, just say hi. We want to say hi to you. Like, I want to see you. Um, so don't feel nervous or anything. I know that's weird. I feel weird saying that, but, like... Um, and I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about, like, John Demko or uh, Andrew Demko or, you know, you see somebody like that. Just go say hi. These dudes want to talk to you. Like, And if they don't, then they're assholes and you shouldn't buy their products, right? Um, but I had a blast. I talked to Marianne from TRM last year. I talked to Leon Ma for a little while. Andrew Demko. Uh, who else did we run into? I think we ran into Jake Hoback. I bought a fucking sumo there, which now I'm still pissed about because... I was 100% under the assumption it was USA made when I spent that $600, $550 at Blade Show last year on that knife. And I loved that knife for like six months before I sold it. Um, and it still bugs me to, to, to this day. I mean, it's whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, we just talked to a lot of people and got to know people. And then we met like, you know, other channels and shit. We ran into like Carlos from DCS. We ran into KC Knives Fast knife dude um we ran into a bunch stasa i met stasa for the first time at blade show last year um and that's what it's about for me is the the uh people meeting the people talking to people having a blast uh going later going to the pit talking to more people makers like you know and for me i guess this year with devo it'll be about making connections and shit trying to network a little bit um but i kind of just try to do that naturally i'm not trying to like I don't know, that's, or to each their own, but, um, yeah, so, that's really it, guys, I just wanted to make sure you're aware of this beautiful face, okay, so, find this beautiful face at Blade Show, and you better come say hi to me, is what I'm saying, all right, uh, I won't know it's you, <laughs> most of the time, some of you I know, but others of you, I don't know your face, so, you gotta come to me, all right, say what up uh, i'm gonna be bringing a couple of cool naps um i have the prototype here of the winter blade co factor uh this knife is incredible guys so if i have it on me when you see me ask to check it out please ask because this is a mind-blowing knife um i just did the full review so i'm ready to take it down there and give it back i do have to give it to blade banter he runs the qsp booth so if i don't have it Go over to Blade Banter and ask to check it out. Um, I'll also have the GOM. Uh, again, I may have handed this off by then, so, you know. But day one, hopefully I still have these. This is the GOM from Renegade Provisions Co. Absolutely just fantastic knife. I bought two of these on pre-order. I am so glad I did. And I should have this down there to check out as well. Um... And then I will have, well, I think he wants it early on uh, Friday, but you can always find Casey Knives Fast. And this is his pinion, Tempest Knives pinion prototype. Another fantastic knife. Um, I just did the full review and I titled it A Swing and a Drive uh, Tempest Knives pinion full review because this thing is a home run, guys. Uh, I cannot wait for the pre-order or Kickstarter, whatever he's doing on this, um, it's going to be a home run. I'm going to order at least two of these. So that'll be with me. Of course, you should come by 
our Devo table again, 18W. Um, we will have prototypes of the Devo knives stout. Okay, I don't. They're down there, so I can't grab them. But we're gonna have uh, all of the prototypes. We're gonna have three of them that are fully pimped out that are gonna be up for auction or giveaway, like a raffle type thing. We might collect emails and then raffle it off to somebody. Uh, I think a couple of them are gonna be auction pieces, so you can write down you know, what you would pay for it. Uh, those look incredible. The work was done by the Knife Modder. Shout out to Lindy and Richie. Another uh, couple there I cannot wait to meet. Uh, they will be there. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully run into Sanford Owen of MBK and uh, see him. Uh, but they did the work on those and then I may have a surprise stout. We'll see. I may have a surprise stout that somebody's working on. Um, but we'll have those prototypes and God willing, we will have prototypes of two new models, um, that we are waiting on from two OEMs, Kubi and Shielden. We have prototypes inbound. They're in the mail. They're in the U S hopefully they deliver to Collins house before I, uh, before the blade show. And hopefully we have them at some point over the weekend. We'll have them on the table. You guys can check them out. Help us determine what we should change, who we should choose for the prototypes, and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, guys, that, that's a rundown of my thoughts on Blade Show 2022 leading up to it. And um, I hope to see you guys there, you know. Um, like I said, don't be shy. Hit me up. Uh, DM me, uh, call me, you know, uh, walk up to me, whatever, dude. I want to, I want to talk to you guys. So, um, I cannot wait for it. I am heading down there on Wednesday. Today's it's Monday afternoon. So Wednesday morning, jumping in the truck. My wife got me this really cool mini Frigidaire fridge that holds like nine cans and it plugs in. I have a, I have just a regular plug in the truck, but it has a car plug and, uh, I can load up with seltzers and I'm heading down to Atlanta with a few buddies locally here. And, um, Wednesday we're driving down somewhere near Smoky mountain. That's the plan. And then Thursday morning, we're going to hit up Smoky mountain knife works, uh, check the place out for a few hours. And then we're going to jump back in the truck and head over to Atlanta. And we're going to get to Atlanta sometime Thursday evening. Uh, I have a dinner I want to go to Thursday night and then Friday morning blade show, baby. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. If you're going, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic trip. If you're not watch for the content guys, there's plenty of people who will be putting out content. Oh, that's one other thing I want to talk about. I will not be doing probably anything while I'm there. I might post some shit on Instagram, I might, you know, I might randomly consider doing a live or something. But uh, for me, this is work with Devo and it's vacation as well. Like I, I'm there to have fun. I'm there to, to meet you guys, hopefully. Um, but I, I don't think I'll have time to be posting all over the place doing live streams. So I don't think there's going to be a lefty live this week. Um, and I doubt there'll be anything Saturday night. So just a heads up on that. Uh, but everything will probably go back to normal the following week. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's it. Love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.